Hey guys, welcome back to part number five of my ANA R2D2 Dreamliner build. So we're going to get those engines done. We're going to do a little bit of weathering. I'll try to do some weathering. Didn't turn out so good. And um, get ready for a final reveal. So as always, at the very end, once I'm done, I'll put up some still pictures and you can see the finished result. So it was a really enjoyable build. Really liked it. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, welcome back hope you had a great week so last time we did this little boy which is actually looking really good especially from a distance across the room it just really looks awesome um, there was definitely some issues you know with decals and stuff here and there but nonetheless from a distance like I said it looks pretty cool so I'm also not going to do anything else with it so I've clear coated it and, and there's so much going on with the decals we don't need to do any kind of weathering or nothing just leave it the way it is but I do want to do a pound line wash just to pick out these pound lines on the wings now I'm gonna do something a little bit different because I think it might look cool. If it doesn't, we can wash it off and go again with the usual. But that, let me kind of explain what I'm thinking. So this obviously is a Japanese airline or Nippon Airlines. It's a sci-fi theme. And I think about doing a black panel line wash on the white wings, which is gonna be really stark. It's really gonna stand out, but it's gonna get that cool kind of like anime, Japanese kind of theme to it, I think. so. I'm going to go ahead and do it, so let's do it with one wing and see how it looks. So instead of my usual dark dirt, I'm going with black. And it's a clay based wash, like I said, if it doesn't look good, look good we can just wash it right off, um, hopefully. So I've got my wash here, and all I'm going to do is, actually it's looking a little thick, so I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. Okay. Okay, now, yeah, I'm not going really to use black much, so that's why it's kind of thickened up in the bottle. But look, see how we're doing? I'm just literally just wiping over this, and you see how it's kind of like beading up and stuff. That's because we have a clear coat underneath. Um, so I'm just going to rub it all over the panel lines. I mean, we don't need to worry too much about the middle because there's no panel line there. Slaver it on. And I think that is pretty much it. So it looks really bad right now. So let me let it dry for 20, 30 minutes like always. And we'll come back and we'll wipe it all off and leave the pound lines. And like I say, um, we haven't done anything on this wing yet. And we can always wash it off and just go with, with a more subtle color if need be. Um, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So let me, especially against you know against the, this kind of thing going on next to it. So let me leave it 20 minutes and we'll come back. All right, so it's been like 20 minutes or so, so let's wipe this off. It looks wet still, but I guess it is a little bit. Let's just wipe it off and see what we've got left. Okay, it's not really sticking at all to this. Huh. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It didn't quite get me the effect I wanted. I think it's the surface maybe on this. I did clear coat it. It's not gripping it very good. You know what? Let me try one thing. I watered it down, didn't I? So let me just try it neat from the bottle and just see how that works. Maybe it's my fault there. Let me get another little container here and just put a drop on. You see how thick it was coming out of the bottle there? Um, so let me just, round two, let me just try it straight from the bottle now, no water, and see if that makes a difference. Because it didn't really work at all that time round. Just try and see where the lines are. So I think pretty much that is it. So let me try it out, <laughs> round two, let me try it out, leave it for like, 20 minutes, we'll come back, at this time with no water mix, just straight from the bottle, and see if that works any better, because that was definitely somehow did quite work out that, that time round. Okay, take two. So, so this time without any water, straight from the bottle, it does look a little bit different, so fingers crossed it's gonna stick. Let's see what we've got going on. It 
it does seem to be a little bit better. Look at all this residual stuff though to get off the wings. I don't know. Um, it's not really working very good, is it? I think it's. I don't know if it's because the surface is so smooth or what it is, but I think I just like the plain white, to be honest with you. So, oh, no big deal. Let me get some water, wash this away, and I think we're just going to leave it the way it is. I'm normally a big fan of power line washes, but it just doesn't quite look right. I think with the shininess of the aircraft, I think it's going to look more better. Look more better. It's terrible English. Look better. I think just glossy white. What do you guys think? Put a note in the comments below, but I'm going to wipe this off. Um, the black was, we tried it, it didn't work out, so um, let's just go with the um, the plain plastic, I guess. All right, so um, this video is all over the place, backwards and forwards, so the, the wash didn't work on the wings, and I've had an epiphany or a change of mind, and I'm going to do something I've never done on this channel, I don't think, and that is to build an aircraft wheels up in flight. So. I was thinking about it, and you get this pretty cool stand with it, and I thought, you know what? Thinking about when I was a kid, going to like travel agents and stuff, and they always have like these aircraft models in the window. I think, you know, rather than these little delicate little wheels and stuff, maybe just this would look awesome just on the stand in flight. Plus, it's going to be easy to move around. It's going to be easy to display with a stand, and um, yeah, and obviously I haven't glued the wings on, so we're good to go. And I mean. So I could do it both ways. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to try it in flight because I think just with the Star Wars theme and stuff, I think it would look better just on a stand, like than like you know, put it on a table or a desk or somewhere, easily move around. So I'm going to use a stand, two piece stand you get from the, in the pack. Um, obviously, going to paint this up, maybe like a matte black or something. Um, got to take care of all the little bits I cut off, um, clean it up, and then we've got to cut that little piece in there. See that little slot? So what we do is we cut the slot out. And then things just slots in, and then we're good to go. So I think I'm going to do that. I think it's going to look really cool on in flight on the stand. So that's what I'm going for. Like I say, I think matte black or a satin black is going to look really awesome with this. Um, I'll probably rattle can it, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my knife out. I'm going to cut this little slot out right here, um, and then I guess <laughs> we'll have a great extra work because now we've got to close up all the. Um, the gear, door, all the gear and stuff. Now we've got to close up, which we could have done before. So now we paint those separately, and glue them in, and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm jazzed about this idea. So let's do it in flight. I think it's gonna look awesome, and the stand's gonna make it easy to move around and display it and stuff. Rob have those little delicate little wheels underneath. So let me, um, yeah, let me get that slot cut out, and um, we'll go from there. All right. So I just took my knife to the inside here and literally just tapped it, and the whole thing pretty much came out. So it's already kind of very thin plastic, and it's designed that way. So good job, Sylvester. So just a couple of pokes of my knife here, and it came out, and it um, it works pretty good. So I did try it on the stand; it does work. Um, stand, I just sanded down the rough edges, and I actually just glued this together. It's usual poly cement, just glued it together with the plastic, so it's a one piece. Um, I don't know, there's a bunch of jackson pins and stuff on here, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. Um, mm, no, I think kind of, it'll, oh, it's fine, I don't think I need to worry about that. So that stand's pretty much done, it just needs painting, I'm not going to prime it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the hardware store and just get a cheap thing of um, black spray paint and take it outside to spray it like a matte black or a satin black. Um, I don't need to waste my hobby paints and stuff on this, because um, it'll take quite a lot because it's quite a big area. So that's done, so the stand's built or two pieces of it and cut the groove out. So now we're good to go. So now we can go back on track. The only thing I do think about too is we added a bunch of nose weight to this. So obviously if you're gonna do it on stand, you don't need nose weight. Like, um, so I said, I was planning to do it, um, wheels down, but now we've got that nose weight. It's not gonna be an issue. It's only like half an ounce, but but we should be good to go. So, all right, cool. So let me carry on and um, we'll get going on this. All right, so moving on to the engine. So basically making two sets um, of the front and the back of the engine with the fan blades here and then going in the middle of the sandwiching inside the end, um, the cowling, the engine cowlings and then a couple of other bits get added at the end. So I want to paint up all these internals, all the metallics first. I marked on here the colors of the various things. So um, the, we painted, first I painted um, steel around here which was AK Interactive steel. And then this round the outside was the gunmetal, which is LP19. So painted the steel, let it dry, mask it, and then just sprayed around with the gunmetal. So two of those. Um, these are just straight um, matte aluminum from AK Extreme Metals. Yeah, it's all worn off, but this is matte aluminum. Then I also 
sprayed the inside matte aluminum and then once that had dried I come in with um, the same the gunmetal LP19 I sprayed the gunmetal on the inside just sprayed it in and then finally the fan blades were just um, were black which is Mr. Surface of 1500 I just dry brushed the, um, the edge of the blades with um, some looking for it here some AK model model air um, sorry Vallejo model air steel 71065 so just dry brush the um, the blades around the edge um, just giving that little tonal difference and effect so that's them all painted up um, they're the metallics I used and now I'm just going to kind of assemble them all and then we can get them into the appropriate um, engines making sure we remember which ones left and right um, that's obviously important <laughs> but to kind of label them so I get all this stuff put together and um, get ready to start putting these engines together oh one thing to mention too is the stand in the end I just used Mr. Mm -hmm. I can't speak I'm just my words uh, in the end the stand I used Mr. Service of 1500 black and it came out really nice finish so I sprayed that I think it's going to look really nice against the white fuselage so rather than going out and buying spray paint I didn't use much paint I used the 1500 black uh, Mr. Service of this guy just glue that in a really nice finish I think and there you go cool so let me get these engines put together and we'll be right back okay so I got the engines built um, no problems at all painted off to the insides first got the front on beautiful fit did add a little bit of sprue glue to the top of each just to um, and the bottom just to get rid of the seams seam lines and I think they'll be okay and with a sharpie this is where it attaches to the inside of the wing I put a four and a three which relates to the part number the section number on the Instructions so we know which one's which although once you get these guys on that obviously faces on the inside so to go this way around um, So yeah paint to the front. I need to mask that up put some foam in here Mask the back up and then we can get go ahead and prime and get these guys painted up, but yeah really nice looking engines I'm really happy how they looked um, the decals on there don't come with a kit the actual swirly bit on the um, spinner They actually came with my um, the version Atlantic decals we used for the windows um, So I stole those ones and use those decals and they look pretty good, too, so yeah, really happy how those guys are looking thus far. So you say got the mask up the, the bit at the front here. Um, and um, get these guys painted white um, with a usual TS26 we use for the fuselage. Alrighty, so we got the engines done. Um, a little bit of touch-up needed on here. You can see some reason I don't know, maybe my masking went wrong, but looking good. Um, now the only well quick tip with this is I was kind of really low on the old TS26 which I decanted you can see there's a little drip on the bottom here so what I did was I painted the whole thing in white Tam Tamiya white the XF2 you know the old fashioned um, you know this stuff and um, so I got my coverage to get all white and then I basically just sprayed on a couple of coats of this over the top just to give it that kind of final layer of the shininess and the um, to match the rest and the same kind of shade of white I guess so that's what I did um, worked out fine um, all I have to do really is kind of mask the back and um, paint the metal part, what well, heat shield kind of area back here. Which, look at the reference pictures, is kind of like a, I don't know, like a goldy tinge to the um, goldy tint to the um, like aluminum. So I'm thinking maybe like a like a titanium silver, or maybe I'm thinking I'm going with this drew aluminium or drew aluminum. I don't know what it is. This kind of word here, um, it's not mixed up well. So you can see all the gold bits, like a gold tint to the silver. So I'm gonna go with that spray the back so I'm going to touch up this bit right here which was the LP11 I believe and um, then we just go slap on a couple of Rolls Royce stickers on each side and um, glue them onto the jet so I mean we're pretty much getting there I don't think we need to go into the weeds about um, anything else I think we've pretty much exhausted it this, as far as we can go with this build so I'll get the engines finished um, get everything cleared away on the bench and um, we'll come back and kind of see how it turned out we're done so it's been a really enjoyable build. It's something a little bit different. Um, past few weeks, I've really kind of scratched my civil aviation kind of itch, and I'm ready about some military uh, aviation. So, yeah, I did the 737-800 a few weeks back, and now I just did this one. Um, beautiful kit. Um, this one right here, the Zvezda 7879. Every Zvezda airliner kit is just superb. Um, I wouldn't even bother messing around with the Revell stuff. The Revell stuff. You gotta fill it, it doesn't fit together, the plastic's flashy. This is just perfection. So, go in really well. The wings aren't even glued, they're just like, it's, it's, same with 737, they just, the whole thing just clicks in the bottom. Um, so you can remove it, so if I wanna ship it somewhere, I can just detach it. It, it. it fits that great. There's zero seam lines or anything. So, it's a really, really good kit. Uh, I went with something a little bit different, and I, I had a few different decal options, but I wanna do this R2D delivery, um, which is very tough. I mean, you see, it's just all decals. So. 
Use pass decals from Russia. Um, they were okay, I've used them before. They're pretty, they're, they're nice and thin, easy to work with, but the other problem is they're very kind of fragile in that, you know, on the tail and stuff here, some of the vivid colors, they can get very scratched very easily. Just by moving your finger even, you can scratch scratch it up. So you be very careful. Um, didn't quite fit right either. Um, the scaling was kind of out. So the, when I looked at reference pictures, like this whole front end should have been maybe like 10, 20 percent smaller. Um, but it really was. So I had to do some cutting and some maneuvering to kind of adjust it to get it where I wanted it to be. The front end here, as you know, I kind of messed it up a little bit. It's not straight, it's a little bit wrinkly, but from across the room, it looks fine. And hey, where else are you going to find a R2D2787 this size 1 to 144? I know you get die cast once 200, but this size, you're not going to find it unless you build it yourself. So, really cool. Um, the windows, strangely, you don't get windows with the decal, with the pass decals, and you need them because there's no way you can cut these out. You know, throughout Star Wars logo here and up front, um, you've got to use decals. So I filled the holes, as you know, mini putt back in part well, one. And then um, I just went to my stash and found some two six decals or 26 decals, um, Virgin Atlantic scheme. I just took just took the windows from that and used those and applied those on top. Um, no problem at all. Um, but yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. I really like it. It's something a little bit different. Um, being an aviation fan and a Star Wars fan, it's kind of joining both worlds. So yeah, it's really cool. So um, since I did the engines, obviously put the Rolls Royce load decals on, super glued them on, a um, few little aerials here and there, some lumps and bumps put on, two little lights I painted with um, clear orange, one on top and one on the bottom, strobe lights, um, and that was pretty much it. And I just super glued everything together. So. It's taken me probably, I, know, I just sprayed and cleaned my own lamp here, it's a little bit dusty, so I know it's, there we go, some of it's kind of oozed down to my model here, so I'm going to wipe that off, um, just some like cleaning spray, so, okay, no problem there, whew, I was removing my decals and stuff, but okay, we, we, we're cool, so, yeah, so we're done, I mean, it looks really cool, I mean, I, I, as always at the end, I'm going to throw up some photographs so you can see it, but, um, yeah, this thing's a little bit different. Um, we're also with the editing this video, I'm not sure I captured it, but in the, I mentioned go to the hardware store and get some, some black spray paint. In the end, I just used Mr. Service at 1500 black. Um, just need a little, didn't use as much paint as I thought it would, just, just a, little, you know, a little bit, a few mils, and sprayed the whole stand to that kind of nice, kind of like satin matte kind of look, which really sets off the white aircraft, I think, um, as you can see here. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, I think it came out really good in the end. Uh, not perfect by any means, but no model ever is. But it's just something a little bit different, and I'm really glad I kind of built this one and, and got it done. Um, so, yeah, so project's done. On to my next one. As always, um, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, um, hitting the like button, all that kind of stuff. It really helps out my channel and helps me grow and produce more content um, in the upcoming months and years. Um, but, yeah, this one's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, as always, I will put some photos up to show you close up. And then, um, yeah, we'll be back next week with a brand new build. So thanks again. Bye.